Hey Campus Collective, my name is Kaylee Patterson and I'm going to be bringing you your Motivational Monday. Today I'm going to be reading from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 1 through 9. And you were dead in the trespasses and sins in which you have once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath like the rest of mankind. In this first section, there's a lot of heaviness and a feeling of hopelessness that whenever we are children of wrath, we are set up for an eternity of death and hell. We became children of wrath through Adam and Eve's choice in the Garden of Eden when God commanded them specifically not to eat of the fruit of a specific tree, but they were deceived by Satan the serpent and they chose to eat of the fruit and in that moment sin entered our world. So all of the generations to follow have been marked by sin. But then moving on to the second section, starting in verse four, but God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus so that in the coming ages he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace and kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. My favorite part of these verses are the first two words that say, but God, when we think that the story is over because of the hopelessness that's conveyed in the first section, God reminds us that our story is not over yet. Because God is so gracious and so loving and kind, he doesn't let us sit in this feeling of hopelessness, but he offers us redemption through salvation. God sent his son Jesus to be born as a baby and to live a life on earth to then be crucified and then buried and rise three days later, which he loved us so much that he was willing to send his son as a substitute for our sins. Through Jesus' death on the cross, not only did he offer us life and freedom in his name, but he gives us the opportunity to spend eternity in heaven with him. Um, And then this final part, verses 8 and 9. Say, for by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works so that no one may boast. In this last section, we are reminded of God's grace, and grace is God's unearned, undeserved favor that he gives to us. The next part of this verse is the words through faith. Salvation is not found because of faith, but it is because of God through faith. And salvation is not something that we earn on our own. It is not of our own doing, but it is a gift of God. By nature, we are children of disobedience and children of wrath, but God does not let the story end there. He offers us redemption through salvation to become children of God.